Good afternoon, everyone. This is NWS Columbia meteorologist Steve Lavoy with an update on Tropical Storm Debbie. The information contained in this presentation is valid as of 1 p.m. on Sunday, August 4th, 2024. Here's a quick look at what we know right now. Debbie is currently a 65 mile per hour tropical storm located in the eastern Gulf of Mexico and is forecast to make landfall in the Big Bend region of Florida as a hurricane tomorrow morning. Something important to note for folks in the Midlands and CSRA is that while winds associated with Debbie will weaken after landfall, the heavy rain threat is expected to persist for much of the upcoming work week and will cause issues well away from the center. The center of Debbie is expected to slowly move across Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina early this week. And again, it could linger into the mid to late week period. The biggest threat for us in our forecast area is the heavy rain and flooding threat. And the greatest concern right now looks like it'll be along I-20 and points to the south and east. However, any adjustments to the track will shift the area heaviest rainfall. As of the 11 a.m. advisory, Debbie is located southwest of Tampa, Florida, and is forecast to move off to the north. We have a tropical storm watch in effect along the South Carolina and Georgia coast. It goes from the mouth of the St. Mary's River north to South Santee River. This graphic we posted on social media early today, it shows the greatest risk for flooding over the next five days. And as you can see, a large portion of the Midlands and CSRA could see some heavy rainfall with the greatest risk again along and south and east of Interstate 20, particularly as you head into the area shown in purple, which is in eastern Orangeburg County. This unfortunately is the same area that saw a lot of heavy rainfall last year from Idalia. And right now it looks like the greatest threat for flooding rainfall will be along the southeastern Midlands and especially as you get a little bit closer to the coast down in the area covered by WFO Charleston. So with flooding in the forecast over the next few days, you want to take the time now to prepare. The first thing you want to do is find out if you work or live in a floodplain and make sure to mold your emergency plan around that. If you do live in an area that doesn't typically flood, you want to still make sure that you have your home emergency kit available just in case. And that should, of course, include some non-perishable food, water, a first aid kit, a NOAA weather radio, flashlight with batteries, and other supplies depending if you have pets, children, infants, or medications for the elderly. And of course, if you do have to travel over the next few days and you encounter any flooded roadways, turn around, don't drown. You don't know how deep the water is typically, so you want to avoid the risk of being caught in floodwaters. And above all, if you do see any roads that have been barricaded off, never drive across a barricaded road. Of course, with it being summertime, I know a lot of folks are out camping right now. So if you are planning to camp this week, make sure that you bring along a resource for you so you can receive NWS warnings, such as a NOAA weather radio or other battery powered radio. And if you do have to evacuate quickly due to rapidly rising floodwaters, make sure you know what the plan is. And again, never walk or drive through flooded waters. And of course, there's a lot of ways to receive NWS warnings. The best way is NOAA Weather Radio, but you can also utilize your TV or standard radio. Your phone, of course, is a great resource, including wireless emergency alerts. And then various websites. Of course, NWS Columbia is available on Twitter slash X and Facebook as well. And I did want to mention the difference between a flash flood emergency and a flash flood warning. A flash flood emergency is only issued in the most dire situations where rapid water rescues are ongoing and we know that flooding is entering homes and businesses. And of course, we will issue a base or a considerable flash flood warning whenever we think that flash flooding is either ongoing or expected to happen shortly. The state of South Carolina is covered by different weather forecast offices. The office in Columbia covers the counties in green. That, of course, includes Columbia itself, along with other cities such as Aiken, Lexington, Lancaster, Orangeburg, and Augusta in Georgia. If you're watching this from any of the counties in purple, you want to follow WFO Charleston, South Carolina for the latest updates. This includes much of the South Carolina coast and part of the Georgia coast and the cities of Charleston and Savannah. If you're tuning in from the pink counties, your forecast office is located in Wilmington, North Carolina, and that includes much of the PD region and Myrtle Beach. And then up in the upstate, the counties in Cyan, that is the office in GSP, Greenville, Spartanburg, and you'll want to follow them for the latest updates. And that'll wrap things up for today's briefing. This is NWS Columbia meteorologist Steve Lavoie, and as always, you want to remain weather aware.